This is Sergey from PropersOft and today I will show you how to convert a transaction file to Kubo format. We will use bank to Kubo converter and you can download it at propersoft.net. bank to Kubo converts PDF, QFX, OFX, Kubo, QAF files to importable Kubo format ready for QuickBooks. Once downloaded and installed, start bank to cubo and select a pdf file or ofx file or qif file this is qif file and let's say select pdf file and uh, before converting re review transactions that dates are correct year is correct uh, deposits and deposit section withdrawals in withdrawal section check numbers present description is what you expected to see and for this example there is a sample pdf file as a chase pdf file it has um, deposits and it has check section and it has withdrawal section and dates do not have year but the, the, the statement has year provided in the first in the first page so the parser uses this year to set for for all transaction dates before converting to kubo file you have to set into bit number it has to be from allowed bank and it for your account type so if some if your bank is not listed or not allowed for your account type then you have to use other bank, other allowed bank. It's, it's only bank label. You don't have to worry about this bank label as you can uh, choose the account in QuickBooks to import. You can have Wells Fargo Cubo file and you can choose Capital One checking account in QuickBooks because both are not in more than a label. Cubo file has label and your bank your bank account in QuickBooks has label, label you can name it anything you like just remember that when you create Wells Fargo Cubo file then you will see it on the bank feeds as Wells Fargo even if you connected it to Capital One account or other account account ID has to be number for QuickBooks and it can be any number but it has to be different number for different accounts so if you convert in for checking account you can use same number for all files that for same account then if you switch to credit card account or another checking account then you have to change the account ID before converting to Kubo file QuickBooks uses uh, that account ID on the Kubo file to allow you to choose account in QuickBooks on the first Kubo import uh, you will get uh, the dialog to choose account and next Kubo file with the same account ID you will not get dialog you the transactions will be imported a previously chosen account then you change the account ID and you get dialog again to choose another account and another settings account type make sure to set account type to match what you will convert it for for checking account set checking account for credit card set credit card the last thing to set is currency make sure that currency is US dollars for QuickBooks US edition for QuickBooks Canadian edition you can use US dollars or Canadian dollars and if you have another currency account in QuickBooks you have to use different converter for example bank to IIF and convert your format your file you have in these transactions to convert it to IIF format that doesn't have currency there are other settings like end balance bank ID branch ID they you don't have to set them for QuickBooks and if your accounting software requires it, then you, you can set it before converting to Kubo file. Click the convert button to create a Kubo file. You can change the file name, you can change the file location before converting. 
Now we're ready to switch to QuickBooks, and in QuickBooks, before con importing QBO file, make sure that account you need to import doesn't have yellow strike icon. If it does have, edit the account first and deactivate. Click on Bank Fit Settings and deactivate online services. Now we're ready to import the QBO file. Click File, Utilities, Import web connect file select the cubo file you just created select existing account check that account account label account type and account id is what you expect to be from this cubo file and then select existing account to import your transactions if your bank is not listed there's two reasons First, it still have yellow strike icon, and second, it's wrong account type, or not matching account type with what we're importing into. Now that your transactions are imported, click the transaction list and review your transactions. The payee from the Cubo file is shown under downloaded S column. If you want to see uh, bank memo, you have to click show bank memo to see the, the description. You have to set uh, select vendor record for payee and you have to set account for payee. So if your payee, if your vendor record has default account assigned, then account will be prefilled from that vendor record. Once these two items are done, you can check it and add it to the register. Thank you for watching.